love everything about them. There isn't a single thing I don't like about them. Their personalities are beautiful. They are the sweetest little things, especially when you have one just sitting on your lap and curling up for a bit of a cuddle. They're, they're pretty darn cute. Yes, you'd be forgiven for thinking Mandy Chihab is the president of the Red Panda Fan Club. She even considers some of the Himalayan natives less than appealing habits endearing. One of the weird quirks, come to think of it, is they love to do their business in their food trays. So after they've eaten all their food, they will go to the toilet on their food tray, which I know sounds really, really gross, but it makes my life really easy because, you know, I just pick up the tray and there we go, it's clean. So the universal rule that says you shouldn't poo where you chew is out the window if you're a red panda, because apparently you're being considerate. Well, when you're personally responsible for much of the red panda populations across two countries, you've probably earned a bit of latitude when it comes to toilet geography. So Eilish is the mother of about four litters of pandas that we've had here at the National Zoo and Aquarium. So they are solitary by nature, but you will occasionally, really rarely have them come into pairs or sometimes little family groups in the wild. She likes her own space. Once the kids are old enough, she boots them out, so she's happy to be on her own. But she also has a lot of children all around Australian zoos and um, I think even maybe some went to New Zealand. So yeah, she's a pretty, pretty famous little panda in the region. Genetically, they're more closely related to otters, badgers, raccoons and skunks than giant pandas. And that distinctive bold colour scheme is not so much to stand out, but to go incognito. Red pandas, even though they don't look like they would be very camouflaged in the wild and in the trees, um, amazingly in China and the regions that they're from, they get a very red kind of moss that grows along the trees and that helps them stay nice and camouflaged. They blend in with that perfectly and they're nearly impossible to see. For a long time, scientists classified them as cats because they have those semi-retractable claws. When they're climbing up the trees, it's, it's quite amazing to watch them. They make it look so easy. On top of that, they're nice and light. They can go through the little thin branches in the trees quite easily. But while their coat and their climbing are all about discreetly staying undercover in the forest canopy, it doesn't quite match the outgoing personality of these plucky little pandas. They do love attention, so when I come in here and I clean, they are straight down. So it's not necessarily food motivation, it's, it's definitely um, the attention. 